Greetings, Internet. My name is Chris, and this is my guide to the Lithania Blood achievement in the Dark Brotherhood expansion. The listener said you would come to me. The listener sent me to deliver the Litany of Blood. I placed it before the Night Mother's Shrine. She said the book is meant for the killer who tasted death. While that could refer to anyone in the sanctuary, I believe she intends it for you. A test, perhaps? A message, most certainly. Your brothers and sisters have gazed upon it and seen nothing but blank pages. They found it to be comforting, calming, but totally empty. Perhaps your eyes will see something more. Go and look at the Litany of Blood. If you see nothing, then you aren't the one I supposed you to be. The listener sent me to deliver the Litany of Blood. That's all you need to know, and more than I want to say. As blank as the stare in a dead man's eyes, but go ahead and see for yourself. I'm curious to find out if the listener is right about you, if you can see what's really there. Alright, so you have to get this quest in order to be able to do the achievement. Uh, the quest will unlock for you after you progress a certain way through the uh, Dark Brotherhood questline. And then you can see you get the book here, you just read it, it has clues on everything. There's a very important phrase that says, you will know them by their eye. And uh, I'll get into this in a few moments when we start seeing the actual um, various people we have to kill. And I will be following the order of the book uh, when I'm going through the various people you have to kill. Tell me, Assassin, what did you see? So the listener was right. Tell me, what did you see? What a blessing you've received. The Night Mother has chosen you to fulfill the Litany of Blood. Let me ask you this. Did the passages make any sense to you? Ending with, you will know them by their eye. Of course. The targets must be marked in some way. Easier than I would make it, but who am I to question the listener? It's clear to me that you must decipher the litany of blood and kill the targets inscribed on its pages. What else would a book provided by the listener contain? Determine each target and assassinate them. Beyond that, the will of Sithis isn't for you or I to question. Your task won't be easy, but the listener has faith that you will succeed. You've been given a sacred duty. Perform it well and bring honor to the Night Mother and your sanctuary, Assassin. Your brothers and sisters would kill to have been chosen for such a task. There are no wrong people. The Dread Father welcomes every soul you send him. Aside from your brothers and sisters, obey the five tenets, and you have no fear of invoking the wrath of Sithis. Alright, so she gives you the Lithania blood, similar to how you would get the um, the guide to the Rothgar relic hunter from uh, from the Osinium DLC. Okay, the first one is an Auradon uh, Skywatch, and it's Similiri. The hint says something about her gaze and dress uh, mirrors or reflects the heavens. So we ended up looking for a person with a blue dress. And you can see here she explodes in a red haze, which means it was the correct one we killed. Here's on the map where it is, the northern part of Skywatch. Second one is in uh, Gratwood and it's Deirdelas. You can see this guy actually has a white eye, and this is very important because the white eye is the giveaway to someone being your target. So if they have a white eye, they're your target, basically. Um, and the various hints are meant for you to be able to find the targets, then you'll look at their eye and actually know that it's the correct target. Uh, there's a lot of them where your target will be hiding in stupid places. Like for this one here, uh, this target was hiding outside of the Elden Root in the outside inn. This is the third one. This is in uh, Greenshade, Marbrook, and it's Caroleth. 
we were looking for um, red haired women or well women with the uh, orange hair because the hint says something about an uh, auburn veil which can be uh, interpreted as a um, well orange hair basically and then she has silver close to her heart and I noticed that this one was carrying a sword I hadn't seen her eyes but uh, uh, I noticed a sword so I was pretty sure this was the correct one you see right here when I kill her she turns into a red haze which confirms that suspicion okay next one we have uh, Malabal Thor this one's really easy it's a small city called uh, Vulkasen, I think, something like that, and it's uh, the NPC called Sihada. She's uh, carrying a broom around, um, and she's a Khajiit, which uh, the hint actually points to something her having a tail and a broom, so it's quite easy. This one was a little bit harder. Uh, it's Stablier in Volcar, and uh, the hint for this one was something about brown stripes, um, and a few other things that I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, this one took quite a while to find as well. And you can't really know, you can't really see their eyes on these Khajiits here because uh, they're always sort of squinting, which makes it kind of annoying. It's the same thing with Agonians, actually. Okay, that's done with the AD zones. Now we'll be moving on to EP. And you can see we start with uh, Stonefalls. First one is Dionor Girano. Uh, this also took me quite a while, but I noticed that uh, that this guy had a, a white eye, so that, that was a giveaway. Uh, so all your targets will have white eyes, but you'll see me killing some of them without actually checking if they do have the the, the giveaway white eye. So, And you can just see where it is on the map. So these guys won't actually stay in one place, so where I'm pointing to is more like a sort of... A, in that in that area basically this one is Sindiri Malas in uh, Deshan um, you see I didn't actually look at her and this was the first person I killed here but she had a red uh, armor which uh, was hinted at in the in the in that hint this is uh, Gidila in Shadowfen she's in the northern part of the city uh, she's not too hard to find. She's carrying a rake uh, sometimes, and then she has uh, white bones jutting from her head. This is uh, Hakida in East March. You'd see, I actually noticed a white eye on this one, but I had also been, I had been in the city for at least half an hour at this point. There we go. Uh, something that's weird about this, by the way, is that when you kill the targets, the uh, ashes on the ground will all of a sudden change name. So they'll go from being the the name that you see when you kill to something else. This is Elfir in Riften. Now this guy was extremely hard to find. It took us, I think, an hour probably. Uh, the whole thing took about six hours. Um, but yeah, it was hard to find because uh, we were looking for someone with tattoos. But like I think he was probably the only one in that place, and we hadn't actually seen him. This one was pretty easy as well. Uh, Basically, you were just looking for someone that was bald and had blue clothes. And this is uh, this is Daggerfall, so we're already into DC territory. See, it's the northern part of the city again. This one was extremely hard to find, so we were looking for a redhead uh, with a scar on her face. And this one, Alex Adead, is basically in the southern east uh, yeah southeasternmost corner of uh, of stormhaven you can see on the map here it's quite annoying and <laughs> they they hide these characters away quite quite well this one was quite easy because she stands out being a knife juggler even if the hint was kind of uh, hard and this is uh, bulag in Ravenspire, shornhelm um so something uh, i thought about and i'm not sure if this is actually true but so they do change names when when we kill them, uh, and I'm not sure if this actually has anything to do with the actual task you're given by the Night Mother. Like, are these uh, imitators or some some kind of um, what do you call it? People that take over other people's bodies or something. 
Because it seems like these people must be some kind of evil or something like that. You can see here why it is a map sort of in the center. Um, but I was also wondering if maybe when you kill them, if it changes characters. Like, I haven't confirmed or denied this yet. This guy's called Ebre, by the way. But like, I haven't confirmed, like, let's say I kill this target here. I don't know if he actually respawns as the same guy or if it's a new target. So, I'm hoping that that it is always the same character because otherwise it's gonna make this a lot harder and it's gonna make this whole guide you know sort of pointless you can see here uh, we're actually discussing the hint because it says something about a golden cage his golden cage here is apparently his vest and then he has uh, rope hair there we go again uh, we're coming up to the last one which is in Bankerai you see, this is an Alakir up by the anvil. So this is the last one in Bankrai. This is Beria. The hint says something about um, well. carrying her scars close to her heart. And if you can see, there's a scar right over where her heart should be. And she also has the giveaway white eye. I know this was quite a, a, a quick guide. I didn't want to spend too, too long on each individual quick clip. But hopefully uh, you can know what targets you need to kill based on the, the point on the map and their um, name and, and um, appearance, basically. So here I'm just returning to the Sanctuary. You have to do this after you've killed all of them in order to receive your reward. And you can see as soon as we get in, we can actually see every single person that we've killed. Um, and they're, uh, I'm guessing this is their... their souls of some kind. Uh, one thing to note, you do have to kill all the targets with the Blade of Bow. Um, otherwise they won't count. And here you can see this is the Polymorph we get. You also get a title, the Executioner. Or just Executioner, I don't remember if it has a the in front of it. Uh, it's quite a nice Polymorph I think. It's sort of like the the normal skeleton one, but then this one has clothes on it. You can see here, it has sort of like a, a very old type of uh, Dark Brotherhood clothes. Or outfit, I should say. And then, yeah, you get the... Uh, okay, it's just called Executioner uh, title. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. I know it was kind of a quick guide, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, to make this as quickly as possible.